So here's the deal. You're playing Skyrim as you have before for the past 10 years. And after all these years, you'd think that people would have it all already. I mean, everything must have already been invented in terms of mods. F***ing wrong. So what I've done today simply for your benefit is put together this nice list of 5 immersive mods you might want to play around with on your next Skyrim playthrough. So how's it going everybody? I almost dabbed there, let's just ignore that. If you've been watching for a while, even or even if it's your first time, I mean you might as well consider subscribing because I know and you know that it's gonna be some quality content that you're gonna enjoy. And also, get your snacks, you know the drill. Well, I might be a sellout, yeah, but at least I'm not a bamboo. So diving straight into the mods for today, I have Skyrim at War. So this mod is cool, especially for the people wanting to play through the Skyrim Civil War quest line. It adds over 200, yeah, th th that's what it says on the mod page. Over 200 patrols all around Skyrim. That's one thing, but it adds a, a lot. <laughs> Walking through the world, you would sometimes come across groups of soldiers marching that sometimes end in bloodshed. It will happen pretty often that the Imperials and the Stormcloaks will meet at random times and you would have the choice to run away join them or grab your popcorn and enjoy the show just like you should have done at the beginning of the video but that's that's a detail as you play through your desired quest line you will have the ability to command up to 24 soldiers all depending on your ranks your immersion will increase by at least 13 percent since vanilla game battles are extremely disappointing i'm looking at you battle for white run you're horrible also, I wanted to share this shot. I, I thought it was funny. I know it doesn't sell the mod too well, but I don't care. I mean, shit happens, I guess. <laughs> it's just funny. But question, there are many other mods that increase the, the amount of soldiers in the battles. That's what you sound like, by the way. And I know, I'm aware, I don't really, really don't care because I have this mod now that is uh, kind of better. Just saying. I don't care. The only disclaimer that I will put is that sometimes it will fry your frame rate since there will be many actors on your screen, but if you have the computer for it and you don't have 600 mods like I do, you should be fine. The next mod will add a shit ton of armors. A and I'm not kidding, this is pretty crazy. I mean, look how big the cheat room is, and there's so many armors you can find in one chest. Now obviously the mod doesn't only have the armors, uh, it also does the same thing to the weapons, but armors are so much more fun to show, so we're just gonna go with that. You'll get the point. What you're seeing on the screen right now are a collection of Daedric armor styles that the game adds. Just by looking at a few of these, you, you get what the point is. So the mod now allows you to take whatever armor meshes from vanilla and add your desired material to it. And I think that is pretty cool. That's something that ESO has done as well. And why not bring it into Skyrim? I mean the Dawnguard armor is probably one of the coolest armors in the game. And now that I can have a Daedric version of it... I mean, that's, that's what it makes me do. I mean, it just makes me, it makes me groove, you know? You know? You can now customize your vanilla style character so freaking much. This will probably take the entire time of your playthrough, but it's worth it. And I mean, you could do any design in real life, so why not Skyrim too? Just saying. I'd say it's a 12% increase to your immersion, hands down. Now you can slash through enemies looking and feeling like a customized badass. I mean, we're all badasses here on Nareva TV, but now you can be a custom one. You're welcome. My chair just snapped. I hope I'm not gonna fall and break my ass. So you thought you can simply chill on a beach looking at the sea of ghosts, eating a bread sandwich without being stalked by one of these fools? Not with seagulls of Skyrim, you can't. <laughs> if you ask me, there's something very immersive about simply walking around water and seeing birds in the sky. I don't know, might just be me, but I think it's pretty cool. This mod adds probably the most despicable bird in the game, flying just around water in the northern part of the province. There's really not much more to it except for the fact that even if you basically never see them up close, they still look kinda nice, not like one of those ugly ass eagles in solitude, but that's a detail, that, that doesn't matter. That's, we're gonna, we're gonna look past that, okay? Also, I think it makes for some really cool shots 
You know how much I like my shots. Also, immersion increases by 31%, so that's a big boy. That's a big boy. The core here, probably the most ferocious creature in the game, previously only having you as its only target, now things have changed. It becomes hungrier and hungrier, and when it spots its prey, it creates an attack plan. After a few quick moments of thinking, it's time to attack. This NPC is faster than any other you have seen, and keeping up with it was a challenge, hence the slow motion. As it gets closer and closer to the target, it gets ready for a finishing blow. There's a new museum opening up in Dawnstar. Courier delivers to NPC is basically exactly what it says. It simply adds more interactions between the NPCs and it makes you feel less, uh, I mean, like the center of the world because the courier will basically invite other people to the Museum of Dawnstar, so you're not gonna be the only guest there now. I mean, when. When you visit it, you're probably still gonna be the only one, but at least other people are gonna get invited, so you're not special. You're not, I'm sorry. You're not anymore. That's why you need to download this mod for realism's sake. And it also increases by at least 23%, I would say. Yeah. Now that we have an immersive experience, Morgana wanted to take a break from all the killing and saving the world. She wanted to become a musician. In fact, today is her big day. Today, she will play in front of Jarl Elisif and she will kill it. If the Jarl likes her music, she will be the royal bard for the entirety of the province. Big dreams will be achieved today. Yeah, okay, maybe it didn't go as planned, but there's always Ulfric you can try with. Okay, but for real, this mod is by your boy Jaserpa, and I'm super freaking late at covering it, but here it is. Skyrim's Got Talent is the new bard mod that allows you to play instruments, and not only that, you'll start off being shit at it. And that's really cool, because the other bard mods that I know would simply make you be a professional from the beginning, and this is so much more immersive. And as you practice, you'll start being better and better. When you're at the beginning, you'll actually get a debuff, and NPCs will react very negatively to your music. You'll feel so sad, and you'll even be able to see it on your face. I don't even want to become better at this bard stuff. Being shit is so funny. I mean, also look how Morgana's holding a flute. I mean, no wonder she sucks. Like, I, I can do a better job in real life than that. Like, come on. Now, would you guys like me to make a slightly longer video in which I play around with this more? I think it will be like something really fun, something kind of like a cinematic story of a bard. Something like 5 minutes, not gonna be too long, but I don't know, I think it could be co really cool. Also, um, a 20% increase, there you go. So you might be seeing, if you calculated all, this, um, all these numbers, you might be seeing that we're missing that 1%. And that 1% is our bonus mod for today. We got a bonus mod after a few months of not having bonus mods, so let's do the dance, everyone. Let's do it. Bonus mod! Ooh, 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 bonus mod! Yeah, yeah! Bonus mod! And that bonus mod works perfectly with Skyrim's Got Talent because it's Instruments of Skyrim SE, because I'm using the, uh, the special edition. Excuse me! <laughs> So basically what the mod does is just adds really really cool textures. Uh, so look at that loot. That loot that, that loot is very very sexy right there. So you're welcome. That is that one person that was missing and our game is now perfect plus 100% immersion. You're welcome everyone. You're welcome. That's why you should subscribe. You see every single video we increase immersion by 1% so it, there's always that one plus every video. Every single okay I'm, I'm stopping. <laughs> Before saying anything else, I wanted to thank Friend Healer on Discord for sending me these mods actually because without uh, without them I would probably not have covered the same mods. 
They were kind of hard to cover, not gonna lie, this is why it took quite a long time to make this video. Uh, because sometimes, for, let's say the Courier mod, uh, it would not trigger when I wanted it to. So anyway, really cool mods though. <clears throat> thank you very much for your help. And also a big thank you to JSerp as well, because uh, I would probably not have checked uh, last month on the Nexus for new mods. and. I would probably not have seen Skyrim's God. I mean, yes, because I think Sin covered it and I watched that video. Anyway, really cool mod. All of them. Thank you very much, guys. Here's your shout outs. Now, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. That'd be really nice of you. Also, subscribe, as I said before, because I'm kind of losing subscribers lately and I don't really like that. If you, if you could help me, that'd be great. So let's go right into our comment shout out of today. And we got Kyoto Gaijin saying, the plant name is N N Nazim. I made a poll on the channel to see which one you guys wanted uh, it to be. And Nazim won by far. So I guess your name is Nazim now. So I'm gonna stop watering you just uh, for you to slowly fade away, huh? I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't want that to happen. By the way, if you see here, uh, th that's like actually like a leaf like this that like kind of like dried out. And I don't know. I uh, I'm kind of scared because I don't know how to take care of these. So hopefully I didn't do too bad of a job so far. Also, I don't know if you noticed. You probably have. But I started streaming on YouTube again, and that will be only only for the Skyrim playthrough. So we got Elizabeth Frostburn, Frostborn. I know how to say her name. So that will be our character and I think that it will be really cool and I'm actually enjoying it very much. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you very very soon. Hopefully with a shorter video that will take less time to make. Have a good one guys, I love you all. <laughs> So I loaded up this older game called Skyrim I started making videos people be admiring Well on one hand it gets pretty tough I can't help to admit that it's some really cool stuff I get back in the game after I've played so many times I thought it would get boring after committing so many crimes Did you know the regular chicken is considered a person? Now that's a dumb feature that ruins